Well, one of the best PX remarks is we discuss the treatment of Tourette's and certain medicines they use. And I ask them if they work. No one's sure because sometimes Tourette's, for some reason, just gets better on its own. Yes. Well, if you think it helped, you're going to believe it. We're not 100% sure. But it doesn't mean you shouldn't use any medication to try to control it. But is there anything in a non-medical sense you could do for Tourette's syndrome? There's something we call habit reversal training. Um, you're really basically uh, substituting a new behavior. So the, uh, the child starts to feel a premonition of a tick coming on. They, you know, first of all, again, you have to sensitize them to this. You have to really sit with them and help them uh, think about when they get ticks, or even if they're having, they might be ticking right in your office. What preliminary feeling? Is it a numbness? Is it an anxiety? Is it, is it, is it a burning sensation? Whatever that child identifies. So now they have a, again, we're developing a signal. So now, before they tick, you tell them perhaps to uh, clench their fist or touch their shirt pocket, some other habit, some other behavior. They seem to need to do something, and sometimes it will actually lessen the, uh, they find it will lessen the tick, um, and the, um, the child will start after a while becoming very aware of the tick, and we don't know if it's because he's aware in a confident way, not in, not in aware that he's getting anticipatory anxiety, but he, ha he now has a little more control over the tick. And then when you give them a movement, again, whether it's imaginary or not, it makes the child feel like they're controlling it. So they call it habit reversal. And eventually the idea, again, with all behavioral things, is that whatever you've taught them, you fade it. Meaning eventually, if it's not necessary, the, the, the new habit you've taught them to clench their shirt will fade away. I, I find it, some people think the kid has a little habit tick, a little blinking of eyes, a little moving of the face for a couple of seconds is Tourette's. You've got to have the condition for a year. Many kids get these habit ticks for yes. a week or two yes. or three. Maybe it's really the stress, who knows. That is Tourette's. No. Yeah, parents immediately judge. They go into an internet site and they, mm -hmm. they get misinformation before they convince themselves the kid is Tourette's. Is that correct? Yes, and even the ones who don't think it's immediately Tourette's, although they, they mention it, they're fearful that it is that, they become, they become, I try to reassure them, a lot of times ticks come and go. They may, you know, they, they less than, they usually go away with age as time goes on. They usually get much better.